Hi everyone. Uh, today we will talk about how to call Android Promise and uh, callback function from React Native. And uh, uh, so, firstly, in uh, Android project, we can uh, create a callback uh, function here. So the callback function is a function that has uh, uh, the value returned after a, a period of time, and in this time, you can do uh, somewhere else. And uh, we have a function name do callback task, and we have a pro parameter, a number, a number is integer uh, or a double and a string. And uh, we have two callback, uh, and uh, two callback, one callback for success and one callback for for false. So inside this, we have a try get block. So the try get uh, block will return to. Uh, to, to do something and return to uh, fail or success callback or result. If it has error, for example, we uh, true the error if we have a number is equal to 100 and the error here is an exception. So the exception here is a super class that return to any exception and the exception here is input number is 100 and cannot do this task for example and if it is success you can uh, you know, return uh, the result as uh, some of the field like name email address etc and age so uh, uh, to return a various type of uh, value you can use a hash table map or an argument or an, uh, some separated arguments okay so in this line, you can uh, call success call back, and the success call back will invoke. Invoke here means that the result call back function has three parameters: uh, name, email, and age, etc. And we have three parameter or uh, one for uh, e. And uh, when it is four, it will invoke the the um, e the arrow like a message by calling e dot. I get message to return a string of messages and uh, uh, it is here react uh, method annotation you can add the annotation here so in uh, react native you can call the callback function here so the callback function here in this case you call is in toast module and uh, function name and the first parameter is the number and the number is integer value and the second here is uh, the successful callback or the callback for success case. Uh, for for the success case, we have three parameter: name, email, and age. It's uh, very easy to understand. If you have many um, arguments or parameters here, you can add it into uh, inside a map, a, a mutable map. Yes, and the callback for false. Uh, what is the case for for microphone? You can call the cell text with the uh, uh, string. The string here is error is equal to error message to print out the error message with uh, uh, long um, periods of time by calling toss module dot length long. Yes. So in terminal, you call the React Native run Android. Uh, wait a few seconds to build to the your device and see okay and re reload so press to uh, react native code yes you can see that we can show the value for successful in this case we show uh, detail about name age and uh, email address okay so you can have many parameters yes you like so reload by Canton M and reload the program and press okay. So we have the result name as Huang email address okay. Yes, it's quite easy in your um, your project. You can uh, change uh, one hundred for error. Uh, in this case, you can see it will show the error because it is one hundred. Yes, and reload so press here so input parameter is number can cannot do this task okay and uh, we have a two case uh, so the function to callback task is a callback function and we also have another case to use a promise or a single wait uh, so the promise here 
uh, can compatible uh, or can be used uh, in uh, a single weight function. Uh, so we have a function here do promise task and the top promise task has parameter number and number is integer and the promise the, the, the promise object here and uh, inside this block we have try catch yes the try and catch here uh, we have a map the result is a writable map a writable map is a, a map like key value as in uh, the object of uh, javascript or uh, hash table map then you can set various type of value to here by uh, set name uh, as a value email as a value uh, for example and you also send uh, set the value for integer by put in and for the property age is uh, about 40 and you resolve resolve mean success and re reject mean uh, error okay so in catch exception you can uh, call the reject function by promise dot reject uh, with the reason the reason is a, a, a string and the detail is error uh, and the, the exception object so in react native you can still use to uh, call the async and await by try cat uh, using your senior await but uh, uh, when you use async await you have to use the asynchronous function because await is only uh, good in an async function so the function on press button is an asynchronous function and you can call the do promise task with the input parameter 11 and uh, yeah here there's a number and the promise is a result and the result here after finish result you can uh, come to next last, next uh, line with showing text uh, by json stringify to convert the, the result to string to show in the screen and uh, otherwise you send the arrow by show text arrow and the arrow object uh, for uh, a long long uh, period of time so uh, it is here and when you run you have to quit the previous program and run again run android react native run android and the wait a few seconds to see the output so reload the program again you can press reload and press uh, and react native code toast okay so uh, in this case you can see that it is a result as you expected but in the error case in the error case the promise will be rejected and you can check for if uh, number is equal to 100 you can true an exception yes i had 100 okay so in this case uh, the function is full and rerun the program again react native run android and see the result and when you press to an iron cone toast you can see that error and the detail error or the reason is i had 100 okay so this is the end of my lesson today about how to call uh, uh, java uh, function in uh, react native using uh, callback and promise or senior web thank you so much for watching